Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kaylin, in case you didn't know that. And as a kid, I was always taught about global warming and reducing your carbon footprint and like a whole bunch of things about making the world a better place and all of that. And I never really acted on it. Like I was always very, very interested in it. And it wasn't until recently that I actually started trying to make an effort to reduce my carbon footprint. So today's video is basically me showing you how I do that and showing you a bunch of products that I've invested in to reduce my carbon footprint. So if you're into making the world eco-friendly and making the world a better place and reducing global warming or stopping it or whatever, um, then keep on watching because I have some really interesting products for you to see. So yeah. The first thing is recycling. It's not a product, but it's kind of a no-brainer when it comes to reducing your carbon footprint. Like, recycle. <laughs> um, what I do is when I throw things away, I have separate bins. I have one for paper or plastic and one for just general rubbish. Um, I have a friend, um, her name is Astrid. She really splits her trash up. She has um, a one for just general waste. She has one for polystyrene, plastic, paper, glass, tin she has all of them like it's so cool um my kitchen just doesn't have enough space for those bins like it just it doesn't fit um but i am moving and i'm hoping that my family will allow me to create those bins if not i'm moving into a room that is separate from my actual house so i'm gonna have my own kitchen so then i'll be able to create my own little um bins um so yeah that is something that i am looking into doing but at the moment i am recycling paper and plastic um so yeah hoping to improve that soon moving on to the next thing it's not a product again i apologize we're getting into products after this um but it's more of like a tip to reduce your waste in general um something that i love to do i am a tea addict so yeah um i love to buy teas i also really love starbucks so yeah i know it's bad my obsession is bad we've established this um but what i find i do a lot of is or what i used to do a lot of is throwing away tea cups coffee cups those kind of things and just completely wasting it it's like i drink so much tea and so much coffee and i'm pretty sure majority of us have done that at some stage and it's a complete waste <laughs> like especially if you're walking through a shopping mall you're gonna throw things away not only coffee and tea but also water bottles um and juices and cokes and cans and all those kinds of things um so what i like to do is when i'm ordering like a water bottle i don't order like i never order water unless it's um getting it from a tap um like when i go to a restaurant I'll, the standard thing that i always get is water and it's tap water i never ask for bottled water because tap water and water bottle like a water bottle the water in a water bottle is just glorified water. like it's water it's, it doesn't make a difference so um yeah um i just order tap water otherwise i have a water bottle i carry it with me everywhere i go um it's a water bottle that i got from tapo i don't have it up with me at the moment it's downstairs being washed but yeah I always have carry my water bottle. In terms of fizzy drinks, I always opt for the um, the plastic bottles over the cans, purely because the plastic bottles are easier to put into your bag to take home and to recycle. The can is so easy and you're so tempted just to throw it in the bin. So that's why I always opt for that. And then when it comes to coffee and teas, I always carry around one of these. This is a um, travel mug, so whenever I'm in the mood for coffee or whatever, always have this um, and I'm making it at home it's cheaper it's literally like you can make it for free at home and then you just take this otherwise if it comes to the part where I really do need to go and buy a coffee cup I always make sure that it's those um, like proper cardboard ones because I know some of them have like a weird inner coating that, that means you can't recycle it so I make sure that I always get the cardboard ones and then I recycle it later so yeah but moving on to the actual products sorry that was a bit of a long tangent since we've been talking about liquids, I'm going to start off with my straws. Um, I have two straws, I'm looking to get more. If you don't know, straws, <laughs> straws are plastic and they're not recyclable. And we go through so many straws on a day-to-day -day basis, so that's why they've come up with steel straws, bamboo straws, glass straws, just different alternatives of reusable straws. So this one I got is a copper one. 
Um, this is from Cape Town Table Mountain. It's at the top of Table Mountain. That's where I bought this one and it comes with a really cute bag, so cool. Um, and then the first one that I got was this one, which is just your typical steel straw. I can't remember what the brand is. Uh, it says better straws on it. Um, I got this as a gift from my friend Astrid, so super excited about it. It is my favorite straw because it is a better quality one. This one was really cheap, so obviously the quality is not going to be as great, but um, still works. It's very pretty. And then obviously the silver straw came with this which is the straw cleaner it's literally like a i don't know what you call it like a, a i don't know this is ingenious just by the way because it really does help with cleaning the straws um tips i can give you on using your straws when you're out in public is make sure that you always have a serviette around or something to be able to wrap around it something that you don't mind or even like a piece of material something that you can wash afterwards or something that you can prevent getting your wet straw all over your bag so um yeah that's something that i always make sure that i have um also another thing is what i do when i go to a restaurant is i always order water um but if i do in the instance have like a milkshake or something then at the end i will ask for a glass of tap water and then i will just swirl my straw in there and make sure that there's no milkshake residue on it and then stick it in my little baggies and ready to go cool so that is that. Moving on to my face wipe. This is probably my favorite product of all of these I'm gonna show you. This is a facial wipe. Um, it looks like a, um, what's that thing called? A face cloth? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> this is a cloth that helps to get your makeup off. Um, instead of buying multiple facial wipes to clean it, like you use it once and then you throw it away, this is something that you can use over and over again and you don't have to use any soap or anything you literally run it underwater and then go over your face and your makeup's gone it is incredible it's literally like magic when the first time i used it because it's so soft but the first time i used it i was blown away by the, how soft it is but then <laughs> when i took it and i went like this my entire face was just gone with makeup and i was like this is better than any facial wipe i'd ever paid for and it was so cheap to like buy this like you buy it once and then you don't ever have to pay for anything else again like it is it is amazing holy grail i definitely recommend if anything i can recommend it's this please guys trust me you will need this then the next thing is toothbrushes you are supposed to change your toothbrushes every six months or so um so that toothbrush is a tiny piece of plastic it can't be recycled and so we have opted for bamboo toothbrushes Bamboo toothbrushes are recyclable. <laughs> they biodegradable, so they like <laughs> it helps with the environment, obviously, because yeah, you can use these. These actually, like I prefer these. I used to have an electric toothbrush, and yeah, I prefer this for some reason. Like I know the electric toothbrush really gets in there, but I feel like I have more control with this. And the actual brush bristle things works really well like the little shape of it i don't know what it is but i just prefer this over any other thing just genuine not just because it's eco-friendly but because of the shape of it so yeah next i have is this this is gypsy rose natural shampoo bar obviously when you are washing your hair you go through all those bottles over and over again and they're making more and more um uh shampoo bottles like plastic bottles it's using more plastic it's hurting the environment so this is an alternative to it it is literally like recyclable it's this entire packaging is all recyclable um i have not used this yet i'm still finishing off my old shampoo bottles and everything before i can actually use this but um yeah it says no added chemicals no artificial color colorant no artificial fragrance and c and s L E S free. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. So um, yeah, it's natural. It's good for you. I'm hoping it works. <laughs> I will let you know. I will update you on this. And finally, the last product that I'm going to be showing you is this. This is a produce bag. Um, this is something that my mom got recently, and I'm really happy that she did um, because this is obviously reducing plastic because we're not using plastic bags anymore. Um, this is for like vegetables or. I don't know, fruits, whatever kind of loose um, foods you want to put in here. Um, because they normally give you like the little bags and it's literally like you use that and you can't use it again because like you rip it open and then 
and you just throw it away. So yeah, you just take these, you put your fruits in there, they weigh them, they give it to you. You come home, you take your fruits out, put it back in your cupboard or whatever. So yeah, so that is everything. I will leave links to some of the products that I have mentioned down below if you wanna go and invest yourself. Um, and yeah, as for the shampoo bar, I am almost finished my shampoo. So I'm gonna be going onto this, I'm super excited for it. Um, so I will let you know how this works. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Um, yeah, do you recycle? Do you use any of these products? If you do, give the video a thumbs up. If you don't, leave a comment down below about what you're wanting to try or what's the first thing you're gonna try because I'm really interested. Like, what do you not try? What have you, are you wanting to try first? What interests you the most? So um, yeah, cool, that's it from me. I will see you guys next week Saturday with an all new video. Bye guys.